This video is going to be very exciting because I'm going to show you the exact steps that you need to follow to make sure that YouTube promotes you in the recommendation algorithm and you reach really full potential. And sometimes I mentioned reaching a million people, but this, if you get this extremely right, the sky is the limit. It can be many, many, many millions of views. This is the key. This video is brought to you by EpiPies Academy. And remember the potential of the recommend recommendations is much bigger than the SEO and that should be the goal for your channel. And the number one metric that you need to watch for longer average watch time for the user session, not just for your video, although for your video, that's really important as well. And average watch times can be a little tricky because shorter videos naturally have shorter watch times and longer videos have naturally longer watch times. So YouTube is a little smarter than that. But what you've really got to watch for is that there's extremely minimal drop off in the viewers of your videos. Of course, you'll never retain 100% of your viewers, but you've got to keep people watching and just stay on the video and watch next videos and next videos. That's the number one thing you should aim for. We'll talk about how to achieve that. And you have to understand that it's a self-reinforcing algorithm, which means that videos that are popular are going to get recommended more. And the more they're popular, the more they're recommended, guess what? They become more popular and they get recommended even more. This is what's called a deep learning neutral network. That's a technical term. It sounds very techy. Don't worry about it. All it means is that it's software that learns from the data that it's given and it spits out some data. It's given some ranking algorithm. It uses that to recommend videos. After it's recommended the videos, it collects the data on what people clicked on, what people watched, what worked the most, what kept people on, the on YouTube the most. And then it re re then it, that, that fresh data, it, re it feeds it back to itself and reshuffles all the recommended videos. And hopefully if your video is one of the ones that get clicked on more in, the, in that recommendation list, and get, gets watched more and it keeps people on YouTube, then guess what? It's going to show your video more and more and more and more on more other videos. And that's really how you reach big potential. So now let's talk about a strategy for each video that you should follow. Extremely important. I know I stress this a lot, but you've got to pre-plan for quality before you film your script, your lighting, your audio, your video, the actual content, it's got to be the best in niche. It's got to be better than the existing videos. Obviously it's really hard to become better on every metric than the vi other videos, but you have to strive for this as much as possible. It's not possible to achieve this on every metric, on every quality metric, but as much as possible. And any length is okay as, as long as you're over a minute and it's not like over three hours. YouTube figures out the quality inside the video. And on launch of every video, here's what you have to do. Obviously, you now know how to promote with YouTube SEO. So you're going to have the SEO all done and nice. Then you're going to promote with social media, post on all your social networks, send it to your list, get as many views as possible, even promote it on other Facebook groups that you don't own just to get more views, more embed, you know, embed the video into your blog, wherever you can just get more and more views and you can push the video views up with ads as well, especially in competitive niches. What it's going to do is going to give YouTube a lot of data to work with. And if you're in a competitive niche, you need to get to approximately 20 or 25% of the competitor view video, competitors views. The view number doesn't impact the recommendation algorithm so directly, but imagine if a viewer sees recommendation that one recommendation has a million views. Another recommended video has 2 million views. Another recommended video has 500,000 views. And there's your video with like a hundred views, it will, it will look very weird to the viewer, right? So they're not going to click on the one with a hundred views. There's just not enough social proof. It looks like a bad video. So for that reason, YouTube is not going to put a small video or an, a less popular video next to very popular videos. So the popularity of the recommended videos tends to be approximately equal. And that's why you have to push, 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 push your video to get to approximately 20% or a little bit more than that of the views that your competitors are getting. And then you'll start noticing that you are getting recommended in more and more and more popular videos. And that's really 
where you start getting all those amazing views. And just a couple of more strategies to reinforce this is you can add your videos to existing playlists and you can also leverage end screens. For example, in your older videos, one of the elements of the end screens can be to recommend people to watch new videos so that your new videos will always get some traffic from your existing end screens. And that's another way to get extra traffic to your new videos. So all this together, that is the recipe for getting your videos to be recommended next to other popular videos.